thank you for joining the small tarot guys thank you for being here if you're new hello welcome to the channel okay welcome welcome i'd like you to go on ahead and view the content before you subscribe okay i am an aggressive reader and i'm okay with that all right i need you to know okay so let's see what's going on and those of you that are coming back thank you so much for all your support likes comments subscribes. I mean, you guys are amazing. You're here for me and I definitely am here for you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Can't say that. More. I can't say that enough. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the energy spirit for my dear collective. All right. What's going on for the collective energy at this time? What is up? A lot of you are empaths. Okay. Yeah. Very disciplined as well. Okay. You have self-control. All right. Somebody, uh, they, they feel left out. They feel excluded from your happiness. Because you are happiness, okay? My dear collective, you are happiness. You are divine. You are very divine, very strong, okay? You run it. Let's see what's going on here, Spirit, for my collective. What is going on for the collective? Self-esteem. Oh, my goodness, it's on point. A lot of you have made it far, far beyond far, okay? Yeah, empathy keeps coming out. Okay. All right. Humor. Now you're laughing and smiling again. You're looking at the brighter side of life. You guys have came up out of something, okay? Came up out of a dark funk. A lot of you might be just now feeling um, a bit off. It's just because of the weather changing, okay? Seasons change. People change, okay? It's okay. It's all right. There's empathy again. Like, I think it just won't go away. You didn't fail the mission, my dear collective. You didn't fail the mission. What you did was you ended something, okay, to balance yourself. All right? You ended something. So you didn't fail the mission here. That's what I feel. You didn't fail the mission. Dang, okay. Something had to end so something new could begin. Let's get it, Spirit. What's going on for my collective? What's going on with these loves? Spirit, what is up? Okay. Yeah, you trusted your you trusted your intuition. Okay, you trusted your intuition. Health in the upright. Wow. Collective. Okay. Beautiful energy here. You have transformed. You've made a transformation and you probably weren't even aware when you were doing this. Okay, you made some big, you, you've hit a big milestone, all right? Don't downplay it. Don't do any of that. You're doing something beautiful here. Oh, yeah, you're manifesting. No longer doubting yourself. And like I said, like I said, you're happy. You are happiness, okay? You are happiness. And trusting in the divine, that's all it took. That's all it took. Trusting in God, trusting in the divine, trusting in yourself, knowing the decisions you're making are the right ones. You don't need nobody to tell you nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's see what's going on here, okay? Let me try. try I'm, I'm going to struggle a little bit to shuffle these because, uh, yeah. My fingers, my hands are big, so. Big enough to pop. <laughs> no, I do not promote violence. I do not promote violence, my friends. It's not happening here. I did not... No, sir. No, no, officer. I never said that. I said spiritually I smack, okay? Energetically, okay? Thank you, spirit. <laughs> I it says the officer. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got going on here for my dear collective spirit. What is going on? What is beautiful here? What is beautiful? I am like, wow. Like, y'all like growing. I love this collective. Let's get it. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in the better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and am spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. Absolutely freaking unbelievably cool. Okay. Yes, you are light. And if you look at this, it's like the shape of a cross. My goodness, it's like you connected everything. You know, such beautiful energy here. Your self-esteem has grew. Okay? It's grown. Oh, my goodness. Collective. I can't get enough of y'all. What's going on, collective? Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm proud to read for you, baby. I said, I'm doing. I'm ready to read for you, baby. Okay? I'm ready to read for you, baby. 
Let's see. What deck are we going to use? I think we should use the Modern Witch. I'm going to have to buy me another deck because, at, you guys, this will be my third deck if I buy another one. Let me tell y'all something. This deck is the best, but it always wears out. Even when I try to modify the border, it just, it, it, it's just, you know. But, hey, you know, let's get it. Let's get it, my dear collector. Wow, I am light. Oh, my goodness. I always have hope, no matter the ordeal. I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God, and I am spiritually strong. Wow. You turn dark into light. Okay, like I think you guys are starting to realize this, my dear divine lovings. And you know what? You're seeing the lighter side of life. I think y'all done came out of a period of depression. Your health is glowing. Okay, some of you that might feel a bit down in the dumps, loves, it's the weather. Everything's changing from summer to fall. I mean, it's, just, it's all making some changes here. My hot dog, you are healing while somebody else is getting their heart broken. Your change is causing someone to feel heartbroken. You let them go. You were holding on so tight to some type of energy here that was devilish. That was very, very, um, let me go on ahead and say, uh, obsessive. You were obsessed over this connection or something you were holding on to. You were obsessed about it. You were obsessed, y'all. These all came out in the reverse, and I love it. I absolutely love it, especially this. This already this already showed me what the reading is going to be about. You are in this energy where your self-esteem has grown, okay? you outgrown some bullshit. You've outgrown self-doubt, self-pity. Oh, pity me. Pity, that. pity, fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. I am growing. I'm healing. I'm beautiful. I am the star. It's a no wonder you had to get up out this. It was time for you to heal, and a lot of you, it takes a lot of courage to heal. And I wonder why I kept seeing the courage card in that deck. It kept showing up. It took a lot of courage to get up out this energy. You were holding on to something so tight, a wish, okay? You wished or wanted something so badly, but the more you wanted it, the more that you tried to make it work, and the more it would not work. It kept, it kept like, you had to put it into it, and you had, you had the courage and the strength to do it. My goodness. And now you know you are the light. You turn darkness into light, okay? You open your heart to God and, sp and you are spiritually strong. Wow. So your health is improved. A lot of you are feeling down in the dumps. Health can also be mentally, okay? Mentally thinking about everything, you know, trying to make something work out when it just wouldn't. Okay, two of pentacles in the verse. Baby, I'm not going to be juggled no more. I'm not going to be juggled and I'm not going to let you tell me who I am because I am who I am, baby. And that's just how it's going to be. And that's just the way it is. Who? Okay, for real. Y'all like, uh-uh. Go on ahead and take that two of pentacles and go and, and go penny wise somebody else. Nah, it ain't gonna be me, clown. <laughs> okay, beautiful energy here. Love it, love it, love it. Detaching yourself from toxic energy. Also, some of you guys are coming up out of addictions. Addictions that are long overdue to come out of. Oh, wow. Oh, some of y'all, congratulations. Some of y'all are sober. Oh, yeah, baby, keep doing it. Oh, I just felt some chills go over to my body when I said that. That's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Keep doing it, baby. Okay, keep doing it. Y'all came out of something dark as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But you have to be a warrior to get through this, okay? To get through all this bullshit, to escape, and then come out on top and know that you are the light, opening yourself to God and spiritually strong. Oh, man, you draw light to yourself and you shine. You shine. That's just period. And someone does not like that fact. I'm telling y'all, somebody you done healed from is now heartbroken. Ain't that a bitch how that works? These boundaries that you have up is very threatening to somebody. I will not be juggled. I will not be tossed around. I will not be treated wrong. I will not be treated like trash because I know who I am. I am light and you're not going to treat me this way. Better go on with the motherfucking flex. Okay? It ain't going to happen here. Not in this city. Not in this state. Not at this time. All right? I don't know what side, I don't know what part of the world you in, but it ain't happening. Yeah, seven of swords. So you pull back your energy, you let somebody the fuck go. And like I said, now they're in the three of swords. Now they're coming out as a sneaky ass person. You see them for who they are. This person sneaks everything they get. Everything they get a hold of. It ain't just you collective. It's just everything that comes into their path. They fuck it up. 
They fuck it up and they want somebody else to take the blame, but you ain't taking no blames this time. You're going to go on ahead and take the Ace of Pentacles and you're going to go on ahead and move forward, okay? Don't matter what anybody says. Get, let me tell you something. Motherfucking people hate for a reason. It's because they want what you have. They're jealous. They're envious. They want it, okay? And they cannot have it. All right, after the Ace of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. Someone's big mad. They want to rush in, okay? Yeah, they want to give you some fake bullshit out apology and some fake ass offer when they ain't got shit to offer you. This person can't be by themselves. They're darkness themselves, you guys. Mm. Somebody is the dark and you are the light and they want what you have. And now that you recognize it, oh, hell's going to break loose. The Empress in the reverse could be a, a karmic energy here, okay? Could be someone that plays that that plays like they have everything, all right, or somebody that just wants to destroy your happiness and your health. But in this Ace of Pentacles being in the upright, it's like God is gifting you something here. There's always a chance for a card to be in the upright, loves. Tarot is not going to determine your future. You get to make those decisions. Do you got what I'm saying? For real, for real. You make those decisions. But I'm seeing you heal from this. Somebody tore you down way too long and they still want to continue to do it. Somebody here, look at this. Seven of Swords looking back at this Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Somebody wants to come in, take your finances and stuff, and they mad because you will not let them juggle you. You won't let somebody break you anymore. It's just not going to happen. You had to let them go. You let go of some addictions that was along with this motherfucker, okay? You let some go, some shit go. And now the star in the upright could be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, okay? You're smart. Your intelligence is beyond me. It is ridiculously beautiful. Let me tell you something, Collective. Someone wanted to insult your intelligence and they were doing it for a while. But I think there's just the little bitty part of you that knew they were doing something here. I think you didn't want to see it. I think that seeing that empathy, you can't, that empathy card that kept coming out in this deck. I think you wanted to see something completely different than what was being shown to you. You wanted hope in this situation. You wanted something to turn out in your favor with somebody and it did not work out. Yeah, I'm not lying. This person wasn't making you no real offers. They weren't making anything. They weren't making no real offers. And this is clarity. You got clarity. You got the truth. That Ace of Swords ain't no damn joke. I'm telling you right now. And now you're manifesting the best life, the good life. We had imagination come out of that deck. You're manifesting. And guess what? It's here for you. You don't have to do so much to do it. You don't have to, you don't have to do so much to manifest. I think someone's jealous of that. Someone doesn't like the fact that your self-esteem is up. They, they kind of want to bring it down. I'm telling you something. Somebody here is a sneak geek, and I would not even fuck with them. You don't want my opinion, but I give it on this channel, okay? So I said, view my content for you subscribe. You may not like how I do things. And it's all to the good. It's all to the grave. Gravy. Not to the grave. Gravy. You know what I'm saying? All oh, gravy. Where are my small decks at? I had them here. The hell? Oh, see, that person don't want you to get the message, so I can't clarify the deck. Bitch, you motherfucking lie. I'm going to clarify this deck if it takes everything out of me. Here we go. Shit. Huh. Psych. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Spirit, what we got going on for the Three of Swords for the Collective, please? With their beautiful light being selves. What do we have for these gorgeous queens, these kings, these handsome, strong kings, these beautiful goddesses that were here, Spirit, for the message? What do we got for them? Three of swords in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse for the collective. Six of cups in the upright. Somebody from your past. Like I said, somebody you don't let go of. Somebody now sees that you're healed. Now they're heartbroken. Okay? We're switching. We're switching places. All right? You're no longer fighting with this person. All right? You're no longer fighting with this person. And they don't even know it. They think you're probably putting something on them or putting some magic on them or doing magic for yourself to where you become with more money and more peace, but you're not. I don't feel that as you. I feel that you're just, your self-esteem is, is beautiful. I feel that your humor, right now you're seeing this as, you know, not something funny, but you're like, well, damn, I'm so glad I got the fuck about that shit. Like for real. I'm so glad I just got up out of it. It wasn't for me. I tried chasing it, but damn, it kept running away. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Keep running? No, I'm tired. It's time for me to go on ahead and just come back to myself. Somebody from your past, they're very nostalgic over you. In fact, their heartbreak is worse than what you were having. 
because now they see who you are. They see what you're capable of. And this scares the shit out of someone. But it's not going to stop. The, it ain't scaring them that much to where they're going to stop trying to sneak back in. Okay? Somebody is like addicted to you. They're addicted to you. They're addicted to you. And they don't want you to see yourself in this light here. Like you get blessings. You're able to have blessings. You're able to bring in your blessings. They want to see you like this. Empress in the reverse. Okay? But there really is a reflection of who they are. They're the ones that are suffering. They're the ones that are not abundant. This didn't grow because it was time for you to heal. Spirit, what's the four pentacles in the reverse, my dear beautiful kings and queens? What is this, spirit? I'm talking to you. Yes, you are queen. I'm Somebody's second guessing themselves. I can feel it. I feel the energy. Why would you doubt yourself being that king or queen? What is, what is that helping? Forgive yourself for this shit. This is all, oh, baby girl. Love. My dude, my lady, my kind lady, my gentleman. This ain't shit. This ain't nothing. We all make mistakes in life. This ain't your fault. Somebody just rusty, okay? And you give all you can to people, even when they give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, even when they, been, they, they you, you doubt, you give them the benefit of the doubt, and you know what they're doing. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Nothing is moving. Someone wants to come in and they want you to be nostalgic over them. They want your heart to start exploding with all kinds of memories and stuff. But I think a lot of you, again, intelligent. Very, very intelligent. Very wise you are, collective. Very wise. Ain't no coming back to this shit. Someone wants you to so bad to revive this and it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay? It's not happening. Ace of Wands here. I'm still talking about the four pinnacles in the reverse. You're going forward. Someone passionately so badly wants to talk to you. You're not in communication with this person right now. When you let them go, I think you kind of cut communication off. Now, I think that that's very, very uh, wise of you. Let me tell you why I say that you're wise. It's because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times, my dear beautiful collective, people get in these connections and they've put so much in. So like, okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to break up. We're going to stop. You know, I'm going to end this. But, you know, let's still kind of have like a string attached to each other. Let's still keep some type of line of communication open. That stops you from moving forward. Because this didn't work out. It just did not. And for whatever reason, God said no. It's, it's like this energy I'm feeling like you are the light. Why put yourself in a dark, split, a, a dark place? Even though you can turn dark into light, someone doesn't want to be of the light. They want to take your light. That's why maybe in the past your self-esteem was so down. Because you didn't even know who you were. Now, if you need confirmation, now you know. Now you know. The devil in the reverse spirit, Capricorn energy. Somebody really wants to talk to you. And they're very sexually... Um, somebody uh, has a sexual transmitted disease or an STI, an infection. I'll look at that later. Uh, the devil in the reverse here, spirit for the collective. Yeah, look, you release this. You release this bondage. This wasn't an eye-to-eye -eye thing. This is not like you and this person seeing eye-to-eye. -eye. It was basically seeing eye-to-ground, okay? Somebody was looking at something else or looking, you know, you guys are standing, look at the two of cups. Standing, looking at each other, and this person was probably looking behind your, behind your back, looking at something else or someone behind you, all right? It didn't work out. Detached yourself. Detached. You had a lot of courage doing this because it's very hard to detach from someone, okay, that you put a lot of investment in. I get that. But that's the thing. You are the light. Okay, you open your heart to others and God, and you're very spiritually strong. Someone wants to break that. Poor Tink, they're in very, very much regret here. But like I say in all my other readings, if you watch my channel, you know regret does not mean change. Okay, someone here probably regrets getting caught trying to take your light or trying to make you feel less than. Somebody regrets that. Okay, but if they were never caught, they would keep doing it. All right, just know that. All right, we got the two of cups here in the reverse. Let's see what the star is about, spirit. You and this person, you detach yourself from the situation. And now that you're healing, your self-esteem is above, you know, above and beyond the love you have. That self-love, man, is beautiful. This light couldn't come out without that self-love. You learn, you mastered something here. And those of you that are on your way or trying, keep going. Keep going. This obstacle is, is, is nothing but that's all it is. It's an obstacle. It's a hurdle you got to jump over. And you will. You will. If not right this second, right after this reading. Yeah. 
We got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. A very, very uh, big, fat fucking liar. A liar. Somebody that wants to go around and they want to tarnish your name. The shining that you have is a natural shining. It's a natural thing. It's not something that you have to blow up on TikTok or something like that. You know, you don't have to do all that bullshit. You're just naturally bright. Hey, I'm just the messenger. Crosswatcher, get mad if you want. Whoever the hell this is, they, they, they just lie. They run around, they spew gossip. Okay, they try to slander your name. They don't want they they want to make sure that they get to people before you do. But the thing is, I'm understanding here, my dear collective, is that you've healed from a lot of different people. People that this person was even connected to. Okay? You've outsmarted a lot of people. Do you see this do you see this this star in the middle here? Look at all those other stars. You wised up and you became you blew up. This is a natural glow up. This isn't something you have to go on some type of platform to blow up. No. Some of you, okay, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe some of you are blowing up on a platform, all right? And somebody's going around probably telling lies, probably steal your ideas, probably trying to mimic your energy. You can't mimic the star, babe. You just fucking can't. <laughs> you can try, you can't. It's a natural thing, dum-dum, okay? I'm gonna say it as I see it. It is a natural thing. It does not come overnight. You don't sit there, start writing down notes how to be a star. It's a natural thing. Some people aren't just born to be them. But collective, you are. Oh, yeah. That's why you doubt yourself. Because you doubt you doubt the natural. You don't think it comes natural for you. And it does. You're just around motherfuckers that wanted to sit there and sit on that shit. They don't want you to move. They don't want you to breathe. They don't want you to make your decisions. They wanted to make sure they blocked that star energy out. You can't be great. You can be great, especially not without me. You got me all the way effed up, okay? You got me crawling up these motherfucking walls. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not. No, 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 no. My dear collective, you wise. You're wise and very intelligent. And you need to stop, you need to stop watering your intelligence and your wisdom for some motherfucker this damn cheap. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's like they got a nothing wrong with the dollar store, but they got a price tag of a dollar store item. And you're at you're at you're at Nordstrom's. Okay? You're, you're in a different, <laughs> I mean, you up there, all right? You up there. Let's say, look, some people are like, why would you bring that? Well, hey, some people got to look at it that way to understand exactly what I'm saying. Cheap energy here. Cheap. Two of Pentacles in the reverse spirit for the collective. Kings and queens. Now, if you're cross-watching, you're the one that's doing this whole spewing gossip and stuff, all right, like that. You, you a page, honey. You you a itty bitty page, okay? Grow up. You you have that ability, but you don't want to. You rather try to make somebody come back out of sorrow for the and have pity for you. Someone's trying to throw some energy at you to make you nostalgic as well because you've healed from them. But I feel like it's very sexual. I've been getting that in the readings lately, and I'm like, what? <laughs> If this how this person sees it, I have to be honest, they're a hoe. <laughs> I have to be honest. <laughs> they give it up to anything. People don't like honesty, but I, I can't water it. Like, I, I just asked you guys, don't water down your wisdom. Okay, don't water down your intelligence for other people. I'm not going to water myself down. This is hoe activity. Ho alert, okay? <laughs> Somebody, yeah. Eight of Cups. Walking away from the unbalanced. Walking away from something that was not equal give and take. You did it. You did it. And someone from your past wants you to be nostalgic. Somebody wants you to feel bad, like I said before. Somebody wants you to feel pity collective for this. They want you to feel pity because you've healed. You set up a lot of dark nights. You've had a lot of anxiety with talking to people, being social, speaking your truth, speaking what you need, what you may feel at times from a logic perspective. Someone wanted to silence all of that. They wanted to put it in a big ball and throw it in the trash and you have nothing to offer in your life ahead because you let them go. They were causing hindrance. They want to be the healing part of your life. They're not. They're the hindrance. Know the difference. The seven of swords is speaking out loud, but whatever it is, you walked away from this bullshit. You walked away. Now balance is going to be restored in your life. Two of pentacles in the reverse and the upright. 
It's like trying to figure things out, trying to make things, everything work and stuff, but you don't really quite have it. It's a little bit unbalanced. Well, it's in the reverse. Balance is being restored in your life. You're healing from something from the past, something dark, something heavy, toxic. You're making it out. And now someone wants to make you feel nostalgic about them. They want you to feel nostalgic about the fuck shit. They want you to be, they want to make it seem as if they're happy without you. They're moving forward without you. And they got other people without you. This person been a hoe. This ain't nothing new for them. They they work out of a hoe type of frequency. Hoe freak. Okay? Hoe frequency. Hoe freak. Okay? For real. Like, no. You can't convince me otherwise. This ace of wands here. There's no communication. So someone feels like they need to do sex magic or bring you sexual energy. Because the four of pentacles in the reverse. You let they ass go. You holding on so tight to the dice, connection, whatever the hell, their thoughts, whatever they were telling you, you had sympathy for this person. You let go and the dice just fell. And where them dice fall, you walking away. Whatever bet somebody made, whatever sacrifice somebody made, that shit wasn't worth it. Not for somebody as a being like yourself. Oh no, seven of one, uh, sword spirit, the collective, what's the seven of swords here? What's the seven of swords spirit for the collective? The queen of wands. There you are, baby. There you are. Very confident. Strong. You're not looking back at the past anymore. This queen of wands is looking in this direction. Okay? Okay? You walked from being juggled, being towards this queen of wands. Male or female, y'all. I don't do gender. I think it's pointless. Okay? You are divine. You are divine, beautiful. Your confidence has grown since you cut this, this energy out, okay? You now know your, your self-worth. That self-esteem, it just goes with that queen of wands in the upright. You're looking towards the future. In fact, this queen of wands is looking right at the ace of pentacles. She can't help but to look at the future. Somebody wants you to be nostalgic over the past. Oh, no, love. No, darling. <laughs> I boarded my train. I will not be coming back. I won't be coming back to bullshit. No. Somebody's player ass ways were very, 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 very toxic. Very toxic. This person would probably sleep with an average of like 12 people a week. If not more, maybe less. This for somebody. They did something to this connection. And I also feel like someone wanted to come in and out of your life and make it seem as if they're, they were your twin. You are divine, my beautifuls. You are divine. It's time to start putting up your boundaries toward this devilish energy. King, uh, King of Swords here. Okay. The King of Swords is putting up boundaries against this devil. Okay. This energy. I'm not going to say someone's a devil. They may be connected to it, but I, I'm just going to say here the Four of Wands in the reverse with the Knight of Wands in the reverse as well. Okay, someone does a lot of reckless things. They run in and out of people's lives a lot. Okay, they run out of they run in and out of people's lives a lot. But these boundaries are strong. All right, they're very strong. Stronger than that punk ass uh, wall that Trump tried to build. They're strong. Okay, very strong. Your boundaries are up. No no jokes. No playing. My intelligence is on point. It's on cue, and I'm not gonna play. And someone really wants so bad to sneak in with some type of sexual energy here. And they really want to confuse you. But the sad thing is, this little um, person, they do not understand that you've already made up your mind. You've already done the reflection on this, on your decision. Virgo energy. You've already shed the light on your decision. You know what it is you want to do. And that's to move the hell on. Move away. Move away. The devil's here in the reverse. So why is the devil here in the upright? Because again, like I said, the seven of swords, they're still in that energy. Okay, karmic, toxic, I have to sleep with everybody. I gotta get validation from other people. I have to, I have to, I have to. I can't help myself. I have to, I have to, I have to. Yes, people are willing to change, but if they don't see the problem within themselves, how are they gonna even change, make the change? How are they gonna even do it? If they see no problem with what they're doing right now, and back then, whenever this was, this could be two weeks ago, this could be a month, this could be 10 years ago, it doesn't fucking matter. If they did not see nothing wrong with them with what they were doing, how are they to fix this? You were trying to teach them. But somebody was all about self, uh, about self, all about self. 
like I said, this connection was supposed to be eye to eye. You were supposed to see eye to eye. It wasn't about eye to eye. It was eye to the ground. Somebody was f focused forward looking at you or you were looking at them and they were focused on looking at the ground. They were looking at other things like, what is that? What is that? They, they weren't focused. Ace of Pentacles for my dear collective spirit. This Queen of Wands is damn near look de definitely looking at it. Let's see what this Let's see what this is going on here. Ace of Pentacles spirit for collective. Yeah, you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. You're being blessed and someone cannot make any moves. They can't make any moves towards you. They can't make any moves towards their destiny, their calling, whatever it is, y'all. I feel like someone is a bit too late. I have to be honest because that devil still came up in the upright and out, out of this deck here, this, this clarifying deck that I'm using here. And then we've got the Four of Wands in the reverse. Someone is stuck in something they do not want to be in. They're unhappy there very unhappy while they're watching you get your blessings so they're still gonna sneak someone's gonna find some way to try to communicate sexually to you it's gonna be flirty or something it's gonna come off like as if they're being very genuine be careful with that the devil always sends in pretty things so you can get confused and fucked up i'm not saying that something ugly is what you need to be accepting what i'm stating is here is that someone's gonna be really really they're gonna doll up their words they're gonna doll up the way they act something here they're going to do it because they're they're horny. Someone's horny. Someone's sex addiction is really, really high heightened here. Especially when it comes to you. This type of energy here, this high self-esteem, seeing the brighter things in life, not being so weighed down, your health getting better, you know, your heart space, your heart chakra beginning to open up and heal and things. They're attracted to that, but they're attracted to it because they want to bring it down. They, they want to be like, well, I guess what? I can take all that away. I have that control. Somebody's just a control freak here. It's good you walked away. Ten, uh, the Empress and the... That's uh, what I was sitting here saying in my head. Okay, so we won't clarify this as the Empress because I didn't get to speak it. I want you guys to hear what I'm, what I'm clarifying. So I guess we're still on the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's burdened by your gift. By your gift of love. Your gift of self-esteem. Your gift of your health. Everything you've been faithful with within yourself has been in there. It was buried very deep, but here it is. It's emerging to the surface. And someone is actually a lot burdened with money, with people, okay? They've made all kinds of connections that were worthless. That four wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. There's two of wands in reverse. They are stuck. And here you are getting the beautiful energy that you have always deserved, that you've always had within you. You just had to tap on the right door. That's all you did. You had to tap on the right door. And I think that's what you did. I think you knocked and said, God, you know, I need your help. Spirit, I need to get out of this. It's dark here. Why do I feel so uncomfortable in the dark? Because you're the light. You're the light. <laughs> okay, my dear, beautiful, handsome kings, my beautiful queens, my gorgeous goddesses, you are light. Stop doubting. Someone in, someone watching this right now is doubting it. Uh, uh, uh. You need to, you need to empower yourself. Okay. No one's gonna be able to do it for you. Doesn't matter what the flip I say, but you're gonna have to do that part. Okay. You got this. Someone wants you to be stressed out over your blessings. Oh wow. Well, they got the nerve. But yet, this is all they've got. It's a hard on or. Whatever the heck out, you know, horny. That's all they've got. The communication is being blocked off. It's making this person want you even more because they want to tear it down. That'll make them feel really good tearing it down because they've already fucked up something else. They have low self-esteem and this will make them feel like I said, I've got control over you. I can bring all that down. You're feeling. I can bring all that down, your independence, your stability, your love life. You could get a new connections, get a new friends, friends group. Your family will even join me. Someone's very, very, very high on a horse that they're going to have to come down off of. Okay? It's not up to you to try to help this person see that. They've got to see it themselves. Just like you had to do all this healing, all these things, see, see yourself, who you truly are. They've got to put in their own work. Period. Now, Spirit, what's the difference in the reverse? Empress in the reverse. Empress, em, empress, empress in the reverse. I feel like empaths here. Six of Pentacles. Somebody was breadcrumbing the Empress. Somebody was breadcrumbing their own fucking abilities. Wow. 
Wow. Somebody was breadcrumbing themselves. They thought they were getting away with some shit doing you dirty. It did not work. They were doing this. They were cheating themselves. They were cheating themselves. Someone doesn't want you in. Oh, goodness, y'all. Somebody might be sick. Somebody might be sick. Somebody was trying to breadcrumb the empress here. Someone has karmic energy. They just, sorry. You saw that waving I did? The candle still stay lit? I'm telling you, collective, you are the light. Wow, look at this. Now the empress is in the upright. After the four swords in the reverse, someone tried to breadcrumb you. Some of you, like I said at the beginning of the reading, you are dealing with a karmic energy. They want you in the empress in the reverse. They don't like your light. They don't like your light shining over, over shining brighter than them. But that's the thing. They can't shine because they're, they're of the darkness. Okay, as I said before, they're of the darkness. They lie. They spew a lot of hate. But they breadcrumbed an empress here. Wow. And now they're restless about it. Someone's sick with something. Um... I'm not wishing this on anybody. I'm just saying, I just feel like someone here is going through something and it's like they want to give it to you. They want you to be really nostalgic over them. They, they see this energy you're in and this Queen of Wands energy, male or female, again. The self-esteem is something else, babe, okay? It's something else, my dear Divine Collective. It's something else. And they can't fucking stand it. They don't understand why they can't feel that way. Why do they got to go through all this work to try to sneak and take other people and shit like that and juggle and things like that? But you make it look effortless. My dryer just confirmed it. That's confirmation. The Empress is here. Very beautiful. You're in your power. You're in your power and someone's of the dark. I can't make it up. The sun in the reverse. Okay. The sun in the reverse. And then we also have the four swords in the reverse. The empress here. And then we have the sun in the reverse. Yeah, someone is not clear. They're confused. Okay? Their lives, their games are backfiring. And now they're feeling confusion. They don't have clarity like you do. They just don't. They don't have clarity like you do. Clarify this ace of wands spirit. Okay? What's this Ace of Wands here? The Tower. I told you guys. It could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Something here is not right. Yeah. They're still doing the same shit. They're just being sneaky. The thing is, you walked away from it. That's why the Two of Pentacles is in the reverse here. You're balancing out. You're starting to balance out your life. You walked away from being juggled. But somebody still is doing a lot of juggling with other individuals. Yeah, they are. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody has some type of STD or something. It's a gift you don't want. Let me just tell you that. You're not talking to this person. You let them go. You cut off communication. This took a lot out of you, but you still made it on top. And someone's like, I can't believe this empress is of the light. I can't believe this person is of the light. I don't understand. Yeah, they want to rush in with their own anxiety to make sure you have it. But they don't have shit in this cup to give you. It's all fake. It's all fake. It's just because they're in their head and they don't know how to get the fuck out. All the confusion they try to put on you, it's on them now. Could be done with a Scorpio. There's a tower moment here. Someone's finding something out. Or there's a tower you'll have having any type of sexual relations with this person. Something about sex here. I'm feeling it strong. I'm feeling this strong here. It's weird. Not weird, but... Yeah, look, I said the gift. Somebody wants to come and offer... It's page energy. So if they were acting out in this energy where they were just like this energy, like the devil energy and all that we just saw, okay, you detached from that. Now someone wants to come in and they want to give you something... But it's going to be exchanged through sex. That's what I just feel like. If you open up communication with this person. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's probably something that you will not be able to heal from. I've got to be honest with, what, with the vibes I'm getting here. With the Seven of Swords. Someone sees you with this confidence. Okay. They're burdened by the, the beautiful Ace of Pentacles that you've been getting or you're about to receive. 
and they're coming in. I said someone now is heartbroken because you're healed. Okay, y'all. Stay with me now, okay? Stay with me. Yeah, they're of the dark. I'm sorry. Someone wants to run around and pretend like they're the sun. Could be a Leo you're dealing with, okay? Doesn't have to be, but someone pretends like they're just carefree. I'm so happy, and they're not happy at all. They're dark. They're dark. And they want to come give you something. And it might start with the conversation and with roses or something weird. And then you guys end up getting in the coop together and you know, wake up in, 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 in the in, in with your clothes off. And there will be a gift that's given to you that's going to cause your own tower in your life. And it's not a good tower. I don't feel like it is. I think someone here got that tower and now they just, they're just they really gung-ho to give it to you. But you walked away, so now they're coming with some type of strategy. First off, they're insulting your intelligence. Second of off, they second off they want to spew your name so that way you can come back and defend yourself and have a reason to speak to them. Because you might know. It's a lot of gossip or something here. This has nothing to do with love. This has nothing with pouring. This has nothing to do with pouring emotions into you. Okay. It's more, it's more of someone wanting to block your intuition because you're no longer investing in them. All right. Yeah. Ten of swords. I can't make it up. You, this is not, this is not what's coming in. Someone pouring in their actual emotions. It's them wanting to come in and block your intuition, be highly manipulative, use and say the right things because you're no longer investing. You're no longer waiting for something to grow here. You're not standing around waiting. Okay. Just to bring this ten of swords to you. It's like tit for tat. You left me alone. You found out who the fuck I am. And now you know who you are. You're the light. And now you're going to quit me. You're not going to quit me that easily. I feel that energy here. Somebody's very spiteful. Look. And it's their fucking wish. They wish upon this. They wish upon your hurt. They wish upon to give you whatever health they've got. Whatever health issues going on with this person. You don't want it. You don't want it. And it's just all for them to say. I've won. And you've lost. You fell for it. All these third parties and shit this person has been having has caused something to happen here. It's something gross. It's something nasty. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, sometimes a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse could be seen as a, a thief. Okay? But you're clear on this shit. Yeah, you're clear on this shit. Someone wants to be on your level, but they can't be. Be careful. I'm just going to tell you like that. Just you, you get to make your own decisions, but you need to be careful of this person coming back in for the wrong reasons. Because you're all in this energy here. Absolutely beautiful. But they don't like it. And yeah, like, who gives a fuck, right? <laughs> who gives a fuck what this person likes? But that just makes them more gung-ho to try to come in and cause tower in your life. Okay? Whatever you built, whatever foundation you built, you walked away to do something. You walked away to do something. Okay, that Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles is coming your way. You disconnected from somebody that wanted to fake like they were connected to you. Wow. You disconnected from someone that faked they wanted to be connected to you. They, they like to insult your intelligence. But this star energy is natural for you. Your intuition is on high alert. Listen to that thing. That gut, that gut feeling, listen to it at all times. Spirit, give me one, please, for my collective, please. This one, two, okay. Yeah, it, it's on point. Okay, so listen to it. Spiritually trying to attack you. I can't make this up. I feel like a lot of you are divine, beautiful. And someone here wants to bring in a tower. Someone here is karmic. Karmic. They, they're doing silly things because you disconnected. They want you to be burdened by your blessings. Are you fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was about to say something else, y'all, but I like to hold up, hold up. Stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them. I told you, this star quality comes natural, okay, for the dum-dums in the back. This is, this is natural. These divine beings are naturally a star. You don't just, you can't copy. I said someone wants to mimic, and it, they, it's just, it's weird. It's like energy thievery. But they just, they're not going to, it won't last for long. It says stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them. It's just like, it, it's not going to work, my loves. It's not going to work. You detach from this person for a reason. There's a season for this. You're healing. 
And someone wants you to be nostalgic so bad. Oh, they want you to be nostalgic so bad. Remember the sexy times? Remember all that fun we had? It was fun because you were lost in it. You were lost in it. You didn't see you as being the empress, emperor, male or female, okay? Whatever it is, you can grow things and someone was sitting there just throwing fucking bad energy on all you could grow. If you have one little spark of an idea, you can't share it with this person. They'll be sure to shut it down before it even comes out of your mouth. Be very careful, my love, okay? Someone's spiritually trying to attack you. It says trying. You're covered. Pretending, stealing your ideas, pretending. You could pretend so long. That says it all. That's been your reading, my dear collective. I hope that you liked it, okay? Take good care of yourselves. Love yourselves. I won't comment under a comment for you to... Hit me up at a number so I can read for you. I mean, it just sounds so... I don't even know who came up with that, that type of idea. Maybe it's this person here. I don't fucking know. But they'd, be on, they'd be on a lot of readers, um, you know, uh, comments doing this shit. Don't fall for it. Whether you listen to me or another reader, don't fall for that. Do not. No reader in their right, right mind is going to make you message them to read for you. No. No, you get free will and we're, they, they, most readers are going to let you do that, baby, okay? I love you guys so much. Take good care and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.